Today we are on our way to Mule Vans to get a safari roof rack fitted, including a light bar. It's a solo mission, but then we're going to head home and see what Ginny thinks about the new addition to the van. Wait, 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 wait! Whoa. Ready, <laughs> three, two, one, go! So jump in because today is going to be a really good one. I can't wait for this. I'm Matt and this is Sky. Together with Ginny and Little Man, we are going to build the ultimate adventure van and travel the world. If you're new to the channel, why not subscribe and join us on this epic new adventure. This is A Book Life. Morning everybody and welcome to a very frosty but sunny Peak District morning. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the van build. Really excited today for this part of the build. We are on our way to Mule Vans in Barnsley to get a safari roof rack fitted to the van which includes a badass light bar. It's a solo mission today, no Ginny, no little man, mainly because I've taken out the bench seat as you can see there and also the rear seat that we're having made at the moment with the ISO fix points isn't ready. Solo mission except for this vicious spot on my nose. We'll call him Jeremy the Spot if you know you know. But what this does mean is I get to go and get the roof rack fitted and then and then surprise nearly hit a pedestrian and then surprise Ginny to see what she thinks. I think she's pretty buzzing. I am too. This is gonna be one of the standout exterior aesthetic improvements to the van. Not only is it functional and gives us a place to hold all of our solar panels, roof boxes, roof storage, paddle board, all that stuff that can be stored up there, but it looks badass. And best of all about these, and I'll go into a bit more detail about this later on, is they are super lightweight compared to anything else on the market. Everything else is made from steel. These are made from aluminium. Buzzing to get this fitted. Cannot wait, in fact. As always, I'll be adding the cost of this to the Money Pit board so we can keep track of how much this project is costing us. And also it's useful for, I get a lot of message asking how much things cost and how much we're spending and is it value for money? So. Again, I'll go through that at the end of. Right now, I'm just gonna sit back, relax, enjoy the drive through Sheffield over to Barnes. And we are here, pulling in to Mule HQ. I'm Sean Walker, I'm director at Mule Vans. There's me and my brother that runs the place. We manufacture aluminium products for crafters, mans, sprinters, Peugeot boxer. On Max Van today, we're fitting a modular roof rack system, which is obviously fully adjustable. So Matt will be able to put his roof rails wherever he wants on the van. We shall work around his fans, his solar. Another thing, it's a direct mounting system as well, so we can mount an awning directly to the side of this, which will give him more uh, scope rather than having to, to mount it on a rail on the side of the van, which for me doesn't look right at all. Solar. It's not a problem, I'll be able to mount his solar up there. Yeah, just a general, it's a good piece of kit to be fair. All aluminium, so uh, I think it's about 50, 50 kilos all in for the roof rack, something like that. And incorporated badass light bar on the front of Yeah, the yeah, it's got a 675 watt built-in light bar on the front. It comes with a wiring loom and everything, so yeah, it'll, it'll, it'll be able to light the way. <laughs> Mate, that's amazing. Yeah. I did a bit of welding last week. I wouldn't dare show you it. Yeah. 
You should be super proud of this stuff. What's the kind of ethos behind what you d design, like the lightweightness and quality? Yeah, well, I mean, the, the thing is for us, we, we wanted, obviously, because we use these vehicles ourselves, and we all know the weight restrictions and stuff like that, what people are coming up against. So everything that we manufacture now is aluminium. We don't do anything in steel or anything like that. Everything we do is aluminium for, just to basically, it's light, it's probably one of the best materials that you can use, and we find that it works really well with what we do. We make really the ladder wheel carrier for the Sprinter, the Crafter, the Man TG, and the Peugeot boxes. We do the roof racks for the Man Crafter, and we also do the roof rack for the Sprinter. We have done them for the Peugeot boxer. We manufacture a range of all different products from uh, wheel carriers, box carriers, uh, adventure racks. We're just in the process of doing the uh, side steps. We do a number of add-on products like the rotor pack systems. Um, we're just developing this new product, which is a max track bracket that goes onto the side of the van that utilizes magnets, as well as bolts to the, the roof rack as well that we manufacture. Uh, fence, a matter of all different things. We, we're just prototyping and manufacturing. We do the parcel shelves for the, not the parcel shelves, the internal uh, overhead shelf now in aluminium, we do that as well. Uh, we're just adding to us the product range daily, really. All good stuff. Yeah, yeah. All good accessories for the van. Yeah, all good accessories. For, like I said, we're not just signal that a lot of people just manufacture parts for the Sprinter. We want to do as many parts for the Crafter and the Man, TGs, as, as we do for the Sprinter. So loads and loads of new stuff coming out for both fans. Well, thank you, mate. You're welcome. Appreciate Bob. your time. You're Appreciate welcome. your effort. Yeah. Stuff's quality. I love it. Sean's just fitting the bonnet mounts for me. Little ad hoc purchase whilst we've been here. Actually not purchase, he's given me these, which is very nice of him. So these mount just directly to the bonnet hinges. Bob's your uncle, two bolts, done. Mega that, mate. Thank you. We just want to try and get them a little bit straighter, you know what I mean? Yeah. So what we do, we pop this on here. We just slide this on. Just give him a little tweak. And that's nice and level now, that one. Right, we've just left Mule Vans. What a bunch of legends those guys are. The stuff just feels really well made, real high quality. I can't wait to show you. In a minute, I'm going to do the grand reveal. But instead of doing it at the workshop there, I thought I would head to somewhere a little bit more remote in the Peak District, throw the drone up and get some quality shots. Cue reveal music. My 
turn on God. Hell said, I keep dropping back to back. I keep going if you let me. I've been sitting at the top, looking down at those who left me. Promise I'm not. Right, I've just got home. Now, let's get Ginny, little man, and see what they think of the mule roof rack. Walk backwards. Don't you remember? No, just kidding. Walking backwards. Walking backwards. I can see the reflection. <laughs> little man's walking backwards as well. Oh. Right, okay. And. Wait, 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 wait. Whoa. Ready? <laughs> Three, two, one, go. <laughs> what do you think? I, I love it. I just want you. I just want to know what you what you think of it. I think I think it looks really cool, really cool. I really like yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. If you had to now do a face, I didn't realise there's lights on it. Yeah. I, do you uh, listen to anything I say? Well, <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no, I really like it. I mean, I knew what it was going to look like because we've seen pictures of them. And yeah, we've seen but it's different in person, isn't it? I feel like child's going to scratch the car with a stone. No stones on the car. What do you think of the van, little man? I think I just want my you other truck. You just want your truck. If you had to now pull a face yeah. that you think the van looks like, what would that face, face be? <laughs> <laughs> Can I do mine? Ooh, like that. <laughs> okay. So pretty aggressive. Yeah. Yeah. I think it looks nice. rad. I love it. I love it. I feel it. like I want to do a face. Oh, you've got a little hat, haven't you? This would be my face. I feel like it's frowning, like. <laughs> <sighs> like <with> this. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. And. Yeah. Come around here. Can you know what? Can you see? Can you notice anything on the bonnet that wasn't there before? Oh, that, that, oh, a little. Yeah, what are they? Oh, is it for lights? Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Very nice. Cool. What do they so put those then? Like spotlight. Oh, mounts. cool. Yeah, yeah. Very cool. He, he gave me those. Really? How do He's they a fix nice them? Chap. Right, the lights, the lights are not working at the moment. That's because I need to wire those in. We also are going to put some bonnet lights and some more spotlights on the front. So that will all be one video and then we'll have uh, some video of it all lit up. Looking sick. I think she's happy with it. Right, back at the money pit board. How much did we spend this week? Well, the mule roof rack system was 3000 and 21 pounds is that a lot of money yes are you getting a great product yes you get what you pay for in this world and the mule roof rack is lightweight highly customizable designed for the purpose that we've bought it for and no wind noise whatsoever so all in all do i think this is value for money and absolutely i do i think it solves so many problems that you have with roof rack systems that it's worth buying a quality product. That's it. Big shout out to the guys at Mule, Sean, what a legend. That's his roof rack. It's bloody brilliant. It's really well made. It's super lightweight, made out of aluminium. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.